Hi guys. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. So, alright. Um, what is up? Is anybody else depressed? Do you guys feel depressed? Do you guys feel like you're, I don't know, like a black cloud is hovering above you and impending doom is coming? I have just felt really weird lately. Not bad. I mean, impending doom is pretty bad, but it's, <laughs> it's not something that scares me. Um, like that, so it's just weird. Everything feels weird. I don't know what's going on. It just, it's not magical attack, none of that. That's 99.9% .9 in your head, and usually it's 100% all in your head, and yeah, it's probably just in my head, and that, or it's just the weather changing like crazy, because it's like 40 degrees today now, instead of like below 12, minus 12, so... All right, we have the world card today, which I never completely fully understood. Never understood the world card. Never liked it. Hated it. Always. Still do. Don't understand it. Don't get why it's in this deck. But it does contain every card from the Major Arcana in one card. So, And then um, mysticamber.com, you can get 10% off of any crystal you want. So, And then the link will be below, and then you will have a little banner somewhere around here. So, all right, yeah, the world card. Don't know. Don't know. I don't know, guys. I just, it's weird. It's very, very strange. So, let's see what we got here. All right. So, the world. It just does not make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me whatsoever. So, as an archetype, it does. What do you have in your world? Like, your world view? What, is your, what are your goals? You know, who's in your world? Your personal circle? That kind of thing. So, I don't know. So, all right. Here we see a dancer clad only in a scarf. All right. So... Well, that could be, you know, a pagan, you know, we could, it could be a traditional witch, it could be a pagan, it could be a Wiccan, it could be, you know, anybody that practices in the nude, outside, you know, and dancing, having fun, treading the mill, as you, if, you know, whatever. Alright, now, an oval wreath frames her figure, symbolizing the mystery of creation. Okay, so that is why the wreath has, the, the, it's the green, the flourishing earth, us, and then we have the red, which would probably be an indication for me, it would be the cane, uh, or the blah, blah, the blood of Cain, <laughs> the witch father of all the witches. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I still have hard a hard time. The wreath, uh, so I don't know. Very weird. So, so it symbolizes the mystery of creation. Well, no wonder the, the, the wreath for me is very complicated because I'm like, well, the, 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 very intricately woven like a bird's nest. There we go. It's, it's making sense to me now. <laughs> Now, the ribbons twined around the wreath again suggest the cosmic, um, lemon skate. So, that, I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, all right, you know, yeah, just kind of, you know, getting it together. Yeah, everything's, you know, pulled together nicely. Um, the, uh, the, the binder, like you would put in, uh, like a meatloaf, I think. I don't know, an egg. <laughs> I don't know, I'm hungry. Now, the four beasts at the four corners, or the key, a slightly different version of uh, those in key 10, represent the four elements of air, fire, water, and earth, which have been balanced and become the cornerstones of life. All right, so yeah, we have that earth, air, fire, and water, and that, yeah, that is, you know, the total cornerstones of life. That is what keeps us, you know, sustained, surviving. So it's pretty good. It's, it's very good to have, you know, and then, you know, alchemically and metaphysically, and you know, psychologically and um, Jungian psychology, we have that to help us to reach our Jungian self, our true self. So that makes, yeah, that makes some sense. Now the legs of the dancer form a cross, as do the lines of the hangman. But the triangle, B represented, but the triangle, he represented, was under the cross, signifying that he will, he was still bound by earthly things. All right, so now this is obviously we're not bound by earthly things whatsoever here. All right, here a triangle is formed pointing upward from the dancer's hand to the top of her head. Thus, the triangle of spirit now surmounts the cross of the material. The dancer's two wands represent the powers of an um, involution and evolution, evolution, which she now possesses. All right, so we have basically, and there my camera goes again, don't know what's going on, but yeah, um, back and forth evolution, involution. So we have that, that's good. So, th though the dancer seems a female, some writers claim that a hermaphrodite is depicted in this key, with the veil hiding the truth. All right, so that's very true. I mean, that is very true. That could be, you know, um, a hermaphrodite. You know, um, um, Baphomet is considered a hermaphrodite. We have a lot of hermaphrodite different deities in different, you know, religions and cultures. So, that's, you know, not uncommon. So, this is thought by some to be the ideal es or state from which humanity came and to which it returns. 
Oh, so yeah, a genderless. There's nothing. There's no such thing as gender to spirit. So I mean, you know, when we go back to the Creator, whoever created us, God, Goddess, Spirit, Source, whatever you want to call it, yeah, the, the gender does not matter. All right. So uh, this attainment is the merging of the self-conscious with the subconscious, and the blending of those two with the superconscious. All right. So we have that yet. Yeah, we have the true self is what we've reached here. The fool has finally reached the true self, the truth of what is going on in their world and how to you know um, use you know the four cornerstones or their fire water uh, to actually manifest what we want in our world so and then um, the final state of cosmic consciousness the supreme goal to which all the other keys have led all right so within that i mean eh, very different so we can see um now the wreath makes sense you know the intricacy intricacy of you know um creation so everything is very intricately um created uh whether it, you know albeit you know the big bang whatever you believe in you know it does not matter these are archetypes hold on guys i'm sorry um okay so yeah I'm, i ordered food <laughs> sorry i'm hungry but okay so yeah the world i mean it's just it's very different and I like this. I really like this. I like the purple. So the purple might have something to do with uh, divinity because that is a very, you know, a divine uh, color. Um, it does represent, you know, spirituality. So we've attained spirituality. We've attained our true self. We've attained, you know, what we've wanted. So the fool has come to the final, uh, the final um, stage where um, it just automatically returns back to the fool. So we have that, you know, um, involution and then evolution. Evil evolution. Can't talk. So that would be, you know, going back to the fool, being reborn, rebirth, regeneration. So, but yeah, I mean, this wreath is what is, you know, really, it's, it's grabbing my attention big time. So the intricacy that you can see in nature, snowflakes, one are, you know, both, you know, you can never find a snowflake that looks like the same snowflake. So there's no two identical snowflakes ever. Um, bird's nests are never identical. So that's, I mean, very intricate. And, you know, it just represents the human cosmology and, you know, how we're made up and you know how this world is made up and what you know it, confusing it's very confusing to me but yeah i do like you know the four uh, the four cornerstones so i mean yeah i mean i don't really have much to say about this i don't have much to say about this like whatsoever so i mean you know and then what is your world view what is our world view what is my world view what are my goals what are my end goals have i reached spiritual attainment have I reached the point where I am done? No. <laughs> no. Not until death do we finally realize. And then we still have to learn. We have to go through reviews and then blah, blah, blah. And reincarnation is what I truly believe. So, yeah. We can, you know, have, you know, that cycle, that cyclical uh, or cyclical, you know, um, thing. <laughs> or time, you know. Time is not, you know, we don't have time. There's no such thing as time. So, we have this very cyclical so it's you know it's very interesting very interesting card um i like the i still connect this with the uh, the blood of cain um the witch father of you know all and then yeah so i mean you could you know mark matthew luke and john we have that you can do that and you know i'm um, a different you know christianity or catholicism or you know what you know whatever religion you want arab or arab, arab the uh yeah the uh, arabic or era whatever faith the religions that has to do with judaism and christianity and blah 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 but yeah <laughs> so yeah it could be a hermaphrodite it really could be a hermaphrodite so we have obviously so these beasts down here we have obviously um we've tamed everything so our shadow selves we have you know integrated our um for females it would be the animus and then for males it would be the anima we've integrated that within ourselves so we've conquered our lower um uh, animal carnal desires um, we've made good choices, we've made good decisions, we can decipher between good and bad. You know, I, and I don't like to say good, bad. It's just the same pole, only a different vibration, one end, one extreme to another, like hot and cold. So we have all of that in one, in one card. So, what do you guys think? I don't know what I think of this card. Not much is coming to me about it, but I mean, it's not terrible. And I do, I do really like the person in the middle. It could be a hermaphrodite, we don't know, so that's the secret. Probably, you know, the secret of, you know, what created us. We don't know yet until we reach, you know, our heavenly dimension or wherever you feel like you're going to go. A hellacious dimension, wherever you think you're going, you're going to go. 
but yeah, I really honestly think that you know that can be a represent be a representation of okay. So we don't know. We don't know who created us. We can't. You know, we don't have an image. So we do not have a concrete image of what created us. Literally, we don't. So we have that definitely. The purple um, it would be representative. You know. Especially of, you know, like um, when, what, Jesus rises, the purple thing is on the cross. I don't know what that means. So that kind of represents, you know, you can see that there. I see that at churches a lot um, in my city. And I just kind of always wondered what that was. And I think it is, you know, it has to do with Easter or whatever, you know, and Lent and all this stuff that's going on right now. But I don't know how I feel about this card still. I It's too, there's just not much that it's pulling from my subconscious. So, you know, like basically the end of, Yeah, basically, yeah, basically when, you know, I don't know what I was saying, you know, we, we've come to a completion of life or a, you know, a period of something in our life that we're done with and then we can finally come and we can, okay, hold on guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm not feeling this card too much. I mean, I'm feeling it, but it's just not really doing much for me. <sighs> All I can say is the completion of something, completion of a stage in your life, a completion of, you know, maybe initiation, maybe you're getting initiated. I'm out of breath. <laughs> so what happens when you smoke and you walk up 13 flights, or 13 steps, wooden steps, not flights, but 13 regular steps. So yeah, we got this going. It's just not... It's basic. It's a very basic card, and I can't really get anything into my brain about this. So, yeah. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about the world card? I don't know. I honestly don't. It's never been my favorite card, and it's been very hard to use, actually, to read. So, let's do some coffee talk. <laughs> very different card. I don't know if I like it. I do like it. I mean, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, it does in a very, very basic way. I'm just not feeling it. Just, you know, I mean, I guess, you know, from a psychological point of view, I guess, you know, whatever's in your world view is what you bring into your world. You're the co-creator of your life, your world. Kaboom, there you go. You have all this, you know, spiritual knowledge attained and you, know, you can start on to your next chapter of your life if it's you know unless you need to go back and you need to you know re-examine some of your spirituality or something in your life or you know vices and things that you could change because obviously the person in the middle is very healthy so that would bring about you know health and you know everything's going good and you know it's just a basic i mean very basic that's what i have to say All right, let's do some coffee talk. Mindy Cohn, um, I would love to give you a tarot reading if you're ever up for it. I know I tweeted that to you yesterday, and thank you for actually liking my tweet. I just, I love your Mondays with Mindy's. I think it's incredible. I missed yesterday, but then I got to watch it, you know, because I think you were, what, live? I don't know, but it was incredible. I really, I really liked uh, the Nancy McKeon one, and I just thought it was, ah, uh, brilliant. And then when you had Kim Fields on there, oh my god, I about lost it. I was like, oh my god, there she is, and she's so gorgeous, and that smile. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's amazing. So, and you have not aged, you have not aged one bit. So, I love it. All right, my Kim Lehman. Hi, my love. Aw, oh, horror movie night for sure with our dogs, of course, always. Oh, my God. Thank you for all the kind words. Missed you, too. It was too long, six days. Oh, my God, it was terrible. I love you, bestie, bro. We're definitely having a have a connection, a, a lot of synchronicities for sure. Congrats on your sponsor, too. Thank you, my love. It is. It's crazy. It's really crazy. That was so crazy. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. At six months or six days that was terrible might have, might as well have been six months <laughs> all right gustavo have a great night nice video always oh thank you my gustavo i love you my bro 
very much. It's nasal power and coffee time. Yes, it is. Kevin Young, do not advertise for pornography on my channel um, um, because you will be right now hidden from the channel forever. All right, Gustavo Munde. <laughs> I like that. Michelle Holler, hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, Gustavo, hope your dad is better too. Um, I don't know. That's something for a psychiatrist to tell. <laughs> Literally. Careless. Hi, love. How are you? Um, I've been getting a lot of emails about the 401 stuff. The 411 things. Um, Tina J. Hi, my love. Hello. Full moon is coming, guys. It's going to be a good one, too. Alright, I think that's it for the comments. Um, crap. There, yeah, there's a lot of comments in there. Okay, so as far as the 411 missing persons things went... Let's see, okay, when I first started to really, like, my channel started to grow when I got, like, a thousand subscribers, and then literally within, it, it seems like it was overnight that it jumped to 8,000 subscribers, so once it started to, to to build momentum and everything on this channel, and once I really started to produce, you know, um, consistent content, and I went through, you know, my channel being hijacked, my channel being you know, almost done away with because of my mouth and what I chose to show, which I f I'm fully clothed always now. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was some crazy stuff, but uh, that was about the time when my channel was really up there, and I mean, the, the Ouija sessions were just pumping out, and I mean, daily, um, with, you know, I'm talking to, um, you know, extraterrestrials, you know, everything that we could possibly could. Um, so, my friend Eric had, um, a dead something, um, somebody really trying to, um, to work or to, uh, bug him. And I mean, it literally bugged the crap out of him. So that was some, some weird stuff that started to happen. Um, I would notice people, um, well, this is very, this is not, this is, this is very strange for me, but I mean, when I would be outside, you know, people always think, you know, I, cause I used to wear all the makeup and everything and now I'm just like, no, I don't want to. I, I just want, you know, I, I don't want to take it off. It's too much. And then people would just drive by when I would be outside doing yard work, and they would take pictures. I'm like, okay, are you seeing me because of my channel and what I do, or are you seeing me because I am not wearing makeup and I am not in my jewelry and my regular clothes? I'm in work clothes outside, and I look a mess. So it was weird. That was one of the things. The picture taking, that was really, really weird. And then going to the store and asking, you know, being asked to have a picture taken, because it was Mr. Ouija forever. It still is. It came from my uncle that just passed, you know, almost a year ago. Wow. Um, so that's where that came from. But then, you know, going to stores and people wanting to take a picture with me, you know, with, you know, because I would wear the crazy outfits and the leather pants and, you know, I just, I still do, but <laughs> I've tamed myself down a bit. So not so much jewelry and, you know, not so much traffic in the face and, you know, the crazy eye makeup that's not, you know, anymore. So that's kind of what I think set. I think that's really, really honestly. People didn't know what I was. They didn't know if I was a guy or, you know, a woman or, you know, whatnot. Or, and now, you know, people obviously do know. And, you know, my lovers know. <laughs> that's true. Not that I have any right now. I have, but not now. But I think that's the scariest thing. Because once I cross my property line, there's you. I mean, people can take all the pictures they want of you. They can come up to you. They can touch you. It doesn't matter. So I had a lot of people coming up to me and actually trying to touch my hair, trying to touch my, like, fur coat that I had, my mink coat, um, trying to, yeah, I know, I hate, I, I hate, I'm against fur and I don't wear it, but yeah, they were trying to touch me, and it was weird, trying to touch my tattoos, uh, and it was just, you know, and that was when I was really showing myself off, you know, the tattoos and everything, and then people started to do that, and I was like, I don't want this anymore, don't touch me, so it, that, that, it's, you know, once I cross this property line. I'm not protected anymore. Um, anybody can do anything that they want. So it's, you know, a matter of, you know, well, did we get security? Yeah, we did get security for that reason. Not security guards, but we have, you know, actual security cameras. The best, and you know, the best we can possibly get for that reason. And it was really, really scary. Um, weird stuff. I mean, just weird emails and stuff, you know, and uh, people coming forward, you know, about that because it was, you know, their relative or something, and then, you know, um, lashing out at me like it was my fault. 
very weird and i do believe we got a lot of tricksters on the board because you know i didn't know what we were really getting into with the 411 missing persons cases i didn't know and i still don't know and i don't want to know <laughs> So I, that's the whole thing. It just got really weird. It was just a really unsettling time. This was way before COVID. So it, do you guys remember before COVID? I don't much. I'm trying to think about what happened before COVID. That's what happened. And then I about died from Kratom, but you guys all know that. So, And then I gained all this weight and got healthy. And I stopped the 411 uh, missing persons videos. And I just started to do my own thing and then that's when everything was okay again so i don't know i don't know what came through i mean it was a lot of tricksters uh, my grandma she did you know i've been getting emails uh text messages obviously you guys can text me i don't know how you guys can text me um, i think my phone number's on my you know personal or no my public page so yeah it's just very different very interesting on what happened what conspired around the events it was just some really strange stuff like you know you hear people you know talking about certain events and then you know all this stuff starts to happen weird stuff starts to happen to them and i honestly kind of think you know it was i didn't know anything about it so i don't know if it was a self-fulfilling prophecy i don't think it was because i didn't think anything of it i just started to notice this weird stuff happening i was like who are you and why are you stopped in front of my house taking my picture i mean literally we had the sheriff over here um, one night, and, you know, I know he was there to protect. He was, he was watching, and because, you know, I had called because there were people, you know, trying to take my picture. And I was trying, I was outside trying to get, you know, video of this really incredible, beautiful storm that was rolling in. So, yeah, that's, that's, um, a lot of it. So, that's a lot of why I won't do any more of that. So, and I don't even know if I want to do a private session of that, you know, a 411 missing person. It's very um, um, un unnerving, <laughs> very unnerving when you uh, go outside and someone drives by and they stop and they roll their window down just enough and you can't see it and then you see the flash. It's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like nothing compared to like having you guys here on YouTube. So it was just really weird, very um, unsettling and it's making me sick to my stomach to think about, <laughs> literally. <laughs> but all right, guys. I won't bore you with any more of these weird stories and stuff that has happened to me before, so. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm sorry this video is short. The world card just, it's its just like, I don't know. I, just, it does, I can't connect with it. Maybe I will. Maybe I will here sooner than later. Hopefully. But I obviously have some growing to do, obviously, because there's a block here with the world card, so. But all right, guys. Um, yeah, I love you all very much. Please, you guys be safe, stay healthy, and I love you guys all the way from Venus, always. All the way back down. There we go. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And remember, 10% off any crystals and gemstones and all this good stuff that you want. So, all right, guys, I love you, and I will see you guys tomorrow.